All right, when we see these types, we're not so worried about the absolute values because, well, it didn't really tell us to use them. And as it turns out, since y is to a even power, it wouldn't matter if y is negative anyways. It will always come out as a positive. So um, let's look at this 60. Let's look at the square root of 64 right here because that's what this is really allowing us to do. We got the square root of 64 times the square root of y to the power of 20. So what's the square root of 64? Uh, I, I don't think it's a... Oh, yeah, that's right. 8 and 8, thank you. So the square root of 64 is 8. Um, but what about this square root of y to the 20? Well, I, I could split this up using the powers of exponent stuff. It'd be y to the power of 10 times y to the power of 10, right? So this one would be multiplied by y to the power of 10. Thing about this, and I don't know if it makes it easier to work with, but um, this is a square root, so we're really looking for pairs of numbers that multiply together by themselves to give us whatever is inside the radical. And I'm specifically talking about this y to the power of 20. This is really y to the power of 20 to the power of 1 half. What's 20 times 1 half? That's the 10 that we got.